A sexually violent predator convicted of sex crimes against children has been granted release from a state mental hospital to South Monterey County. Jorge Rubio got the approval to live in a trailer home on the 70,000 block of Halone Road in Bradley. Many neighbors are outraged. Action News 8 reporter Felix Cortez has more. Vera Elliott and her husband moved to Bradley three years ago for the wide open space and solitude. We both retired and we wanted to move somewhere nice and quiet and not have to worry about anything. Now they say they'll have a neighbor to worry about 68 year old Jorge Rubio, a convicted child molester who will be moving into this trailer home as early as this weekend. Now we have to keep the doors locked, make sure the dogs stay out you know, and just keep an eye on everything now. It's really sad. Rubio has been in a state mental hospital for sexually violent predators since 2006. Doctors have concluded that Rubio has progressed enough in his treatment that he's unlikely to reoffend while under supervision. Prosecutors aren't so sure. Historically hasn't done well on supervision and he will be released on supervision. And so based on his past performance on supervision, we have not a lot of confidence that he will perform well on supervision. Rubio's release will be overseen by Liberty Healthcare with a number of conditions. He'll have 24 seven GPS monitoring, travel restrictions, subject to random searches, computer and social media supervision, just to name a few. I do know that Liberty Healthcare uh, has told the court and has told this office, told the sheriff's office uh, that they will do all that they can to ensure the safety of the public. That is their number one goal. Now, to be very clear, this is a conditional release. If Rubio violates any terms of his release, prosecutors say they will immediately petition the court to have Rubio recommitted to that state mental hospital. Reporting near Bradley, Felix Cortez, KSBW, Action News 8.